Hi there, welcome back to Calculus of Variations, video number 8. In this video we're going to go through an example. Now I know we've been using the example of the rope hanging between two pulleys, but for this example I'll go back to the most, exim most simplest example that tends to exist in one of the first ones you tend to meet in Calculus of Variations. And for the next video we'll do the, the rope hanging. So for this example, we'll look at the shortest distance between two points in Euclidean space. Now common sense tells us that the shortest distance between the two points, as a point A and point B, is going to be a straight line. But well, we can use calculus of variations to prove this. Well, let's give us some coordinate axes, we'll call that y, and we'll call that x. Now, we use a variational method, because what we could say is, we could choose any path between these two points. So let's choose a path there, there's one path there, and there's another path there. Now there's an infinite number of paths, they all have different lengths. But there's only one path that minimizes that length, and that's a straight line. So what we are looking for from our terminology we used previously is S, which is going to be the functional value that we're trying to minimize, would be the integral from the point A point B of the summation of all, all, all of these infinitesimal elements ds. Now we know from previous lecture that in order to find ds we use Pythagoras and we had ds squared, dx squared, and dy squared. And from that, we're able to deduce that the value of the function that we're looking for is going to be written as 1 plus y derivative squared all root. So again, if you go back to the previous, I think it was a couple of videos ago, you'll see the derivation of this. Now, that there is the function that gives us this value of ds. Now, we note that this function doesn't have any explicit dependence on x. It doesn't have any explicit dependence on y. The only explicit dependence it has is on y derivative. So we know from the previous video that we can use a simplified Euler-Lagrange equation. So what we want to do is we want to show that df by dy derivative equals some constant. Now our f in this instance here is this equation here. This is usually termed a characteristic equation. So if we want to what we want to do is put this in for f and then solve for that, that equation. So let's go ahead and do that. So we could say that over here we got further, tend to squash everything in one little spot. We could say d by dy derivative of the root of 
one plus y derivative squared all to well that's, no that's correct one plus y derivative squared all root equals a constant so now if we're going to differentiate this with respect to y derivative then we can use the chain rule so what we would have would be from the outside we would have half 1 plus y derivative squared to the minus 1 half and then we multiply it by the derivative of this here which is inside the brackets which would be 2y derivative to the power of 2 minus 1 that's all to the power of 1 so that whole thing can be written as 2 times a half is cancelled out so we would have y derivative to the power of 1 is just y derivative all upon 1 plus y derivative squared to power of 1 half now we know that that there equals some constant c so we could say y derivative equals some constant c times the root of 1 plus y derivative squared so then we can write if we square this side here we can square that side there so you could say y derivative squared equals c squared times 1 plus y derivative squared now that there we could this is a constant so a constant squared is still a constant so we could just just give it a different name for the constant okay we could call it k so that would equal k plus k y derivative squared so we would have y derivative squared equals k plus k y derivative squared now again this y derivative squared doesn't matter whether it's y derivative squared or just y derivative all we've got is a constant multiplying each of these on both ends so we could write that as if we took this across here we could write that as y derivative squared minus k 
key wide derivative squared equals k take out the common factor y derivative squared times 1 minus k equals k so again as I said the fact is that we have a squared term in here for the y derivative well we're just saying that this term here equals a constant so this term squared still equals a constant that we could just give a constant a different name so we could give that constant say we we'll might call it small k so let's continue with this we would have y derivative squared equals k upon 1 minus k so we could say y derivative equals some and we'll call it a constant we'll call it that constant k there so we know that we've got an equation here and we're looking for y of x but we've got the y derivative of x but that's just a simple differential equation let's just say dy by dx is some constant k so we know the only thing that could be we call that y call that x is going to be a straight line and it's not going to be a straight line like that because the rate of change of that is zero but we're going to have a straight line of some sort here just pick a straight line so it's going to be some straight line here so that means that we can write y of x equals some value ax plus b that's the equation of a straight line so that there proves that the shortest point between two points in Euclidean space using the variational technique the minimum value for this is given by a value y of x which is a straight line okay that's all for this video the next video will go on and we'll look at the original problem which was the rope hanging over a couple of pulleys okay thank you goodbye